Yes guys, welcome back to Hair System DIY, your go-to channel for hair system advice, tips, tutorials, and of course, opinions. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about a tape I absolutely love. I only discovered it about two months ago, and I'm gonna tell you all about it next. Now guys, before we dive into the main course of this particular video, if you could please like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you could subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, it would really help this channel grow and help more people find it. And it'll help me keep making free content for you guys. This was a hair system tape that I actually ordered by pure accident. I tried to order something else and I made an accident when I was on the website and I ordered the wrong thing, but it turned out to be an absolute stroke of luck and an absolute godsend. What I really like about this tape in particular is the bond is absolutely amazing. And the fact it's got a really, really dull finish. It ticks some really good boxes. Obviously with a dull finish, you get a much more realistic look. You can get a invisible appearance around the hairline. So as you can see, my hair is up. I actually very, very rarely tape the front of my hair system. I only ever do it if I've got 100% confidence that the tape that I'm using is gonna be pretty subtle to anyone, including myself. I wouldn't know that tape was on the front. If you were to ask me, what adhesive have you got at the front ad? I'd I'd say glue uh, because you can't tell. I've had this system on for a week now, just over a week actually. There's been no lift whatsoever at the front of the system. Now usually when I apply tape, I usually have a lift after about four to five to six days. Bearing in mind, I sit in a sauna quite a lot. I also bathe most days when I sit or lie in a hot bath and that causes me to sweat. Naturally, that'll loosen the bond. Seemingly not with this tape, and that's why it's so impressive. It's got a fantastic bond, and it gives me what I want in terms of if I want to expose my hairline. Obviously, guys who've been following me for a long time, you know that sometimes I expose my hairline pretty much only with a lace, but I generally use Ghost Bond on it because Ghost Bond gives a real pretty subtle finish on it. Uh, tapes, on the other hand, aren't so great, apart from this one. So what is this tape, you may be asking? Well, it's a Walker's product, and you may remember a couple of weeks ago, I spoke about Ultra Hold, which I'm not a massive fan of, but this particular product, I am a big fan of. It's called Walker's Lace Front. Now, as I said earlier in the video, I didn't realize what I was, I, I tried to order something else. I tried to order Walker Green Tape, which I've been using quite a bit for about six months to a year. Again, good tape. I will speak a bit about that later. But this one came and I was like, ah, oh, maybe they sent the wrong one. I went online, I checked the order, I'd accidentally ordered this one. Now I've got to say I was skeptical. I was very skeptical at first because mainly because of the name. The fact that it's called Lace Front, I assumed you could only use it on lace because the name of the product is Lace Front. So I tried it out on my French lace that I'm wearing right now. And as you'd expect, it worked a charm. And now for a message from today's sponsors. Today's sponsor, guys, is Livivid. You can find them at livividhair.com. You can get a 15% discount code on any stock hair system or accessories that I've negotiated with them just for you guys. It's Adam15. All the information is in the description box below this video if you want high quality hair systems with good shipping times and top customer service, consider Livivid. I used this lace front around the whole base of my French lace and it worked absolutely wonderfully. The bond was incredible. There was no lift at all, even after wearing it for two weeks, more than two weeks actually. The only reason I changed the system was because I like to keep my scalp fairly hygienic and clean. So it was just time for a clean and a rebond. The first thing I was surprised about was the bond I got around the rest of the system. So at the front, fantastic, invisible, good bond. The rest of the system, fantastic, even better bond. And I didn't even use scalp protector. Now, for those of you who don't know what scalp protector is, it basically improves the adhesion between your scalp 
and whatever the bond is, be it a tape or a glue. I didn't even use that this time. And I still got two weeks, no lifts whatsoever. The bond was incredible. And at the front as well, it looked great. I mean, this is over a week in now as well and no lift whatsoever. If you look where the hairline is, no lifts whatsoever. You wouldn't get the idea that there is a tape or anything there holding it on. Then I tried something else. So about a month ago, I've got this old poly which I wanted to do an experiment on. So I used lace tape and I put it on my poly and I wore the poly for about a week. This was a full poly base, no lifts whatsoever. And you know what as well? It came off the base. It came off the base really easily. No tears, no nothing. And I usually advise against using tape on polys unless they're fairly thick, AKA 0.08 millimeters or higher. And this is the tape that I would recommend if you have to use or if you want to use a tape on a poly. Don't use it on an ultra thin skin, like a 0.02 to a 0.03, but anything above a sort of 0.08 or higher to a one millimeter, getting this off is fine. So with this, you have a tape that gives a really good bond. It can give you four plus weeks of bond as advertised on their website. It's easy to apply. You don't get lifts, which is really important. And it comes off the system pretty easily. And perhaps more important than anything, it works on lace and it works on poly. This is a great, great tape, guys. Now, there are some tapes that I'm not too enamored with. That doesn't mean they're bad tapes. It just means that it doesn't work for me. And you guys, you need to work out what's for you. You may love this tape. You may not love this tape. It depends. Everyone's different. We've all got a different skin chemistry. I must have said that if I had a penny for the amount of times I said that, I would be a rich man, guys. But for me, Ultra Hold and No Shine Tape, and uh, all base tape, those just, they don't cut it for me anymore. They don't, I don't get on with ultra hold. No shine makes my head itch. And also it's not that no shine. And all base, I just find it doesn't have any subtlety at the front, although it's pretty decent around the edges, but I haven't seen it sold anywhere for a long time. If you've seen it sold, let me know in the comments box below. The two that I would use moving forward as we sit here right now, as I sit with you guys right now, it would be the Walker lace front. And the other one that I like to use is Walker green tape. The only drawback to Walker green tape is after about a week, it really starts loosening the bond. So you pretty much need to make sure that you're changing that bond every week. Walker's red tape is also good, but it's not the greatest bond. If you're looking for adhesion, lace front is probably a better bet for you. So what do you think, guys? Have you tried this tape? What's your opinion on it? Do you have a favorite tape? If you do, let me know in the comments box below. I always endeavor to answer everyone's questions and comments. I look forward to hearing from you guys. and I look forward to speaking to you very soon.